I have a machine here, a single machine that the timing is off. I'm going to open the machine. I'm going to open up this machine now because the timing is completely off. It's not catching the thread. When the needle is coming out, it's not picking up the thread. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it, correct it, and 100% perfect, okay? Let's go. Here, I'm going to show you exactly when your timing is off. You could find out exactly what the problem is. As you can see right now, this is your needle right here. This is the eye hole for the needle. This is the eyelet. This is where you put your thread in there. So at that point right there, when the needle is all the way down flat, sitting flat at the lowest point right there, the lowest position, where the needle start coming up right about that over there, right about that high, just about a 16 off from the actually bottom part of the hook, the needle start coming up, coming back. Now you're going to see that the needle is going to start coming up right at that position there, the tip of the hook which is this tip here, should be sitting right on top of the needle right here. It should be sitting right around here. That, this point of the hook should be sitting right over here. Now, when the needle start coming up, see, needle start coming up. Now, the point of the hook, this point of the hook right here, should be sitting right over here now. So right now, this machine, the timing is off. You can see, never is gonna sew. That's why the customer brought it in because the machine is not stitching. But that is the problem. You can see how late the hook is coming. Now I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna fix it up. I'm gonna time it up again so you can see exactly how it's supposed to look like. Um, and this machine, you just gotta turn it over. This is the best way of doing it. You know, you gotta turn it over. There's a shaft on the bottom of this machine right down here, there's a shaft right down here at the bottom that I'm gonna go and loose it up. Okay, I just have uh, my uh, my hook, now it's completely loose as you can see. I put a thread in there so it's easier for you to see. I want you to check into that. Um, I like to timing the machine with my needle all the way on the left position. See, this is all the way on the right, this is all the way on the left. Why? Because when I time it like that, I'm sure that I'm not gonna have skipping stitches when I make my hood timing correctly. So what you wanna do is, you wanna bring your needle all the way to the left position, and then check this out. When the needle start coming up right now, the, knee, the, the thread's gonna start making a loop on the back. See that? Start making a loop. That's exactly what you want. You want the machine to start coming up. Take your hook and bring it just about, just about there. See the eyelet for the hole? For the needle hole, right over there. You want it, what you want to do? You want to tighten it while while you have the needle in that exact position right there. The needle comes all the way down. It start coming up, coming up, coming up, and just about there, just about a sixteenth of an inch off on top of the needle hole where you put your thread in. See there? This is where you put your thread in, right down here, right there. So you want to make sure that the hook is just just a little bit over that, right over there. So what's gonna happen is that when you start stitching, the machine's gonna take the thread and it's gonna do this for you. It's gonna start sewing around, but it has to be in that position. If you have it too fast or you have it too slow, it is not going to work. So this is the right way of doing the timing right there. Bring your needle all the way down and start coming up. Take your hook and make sure you position it right over there, right on top of the needle eyelet. See, the eyelet right there, right over there. Now, sometimes what I recommend to do is go over there, try to hold it with your hands, put your hands in here like that, turn the machine over, and then try to tighten up a little bit. If it moves, it's okay, you, you know, just go over there, tighten the screw a little bit, so you have a little bit of a chance to, tie, to move it back and forth if you need to, okay? I'm gonna tighten it up now and I'm gonna show you. Okay, now I make everything tight. I'm just gonna go and check. Right there, perfect. See that? See this? Remember the needle is all the way at the, at, the, at, the, at the left side of the needle play, you see? This is your machine, it's gonna take it. It's gonna go, boom, it's gonna sew right away. Because the reason why you wanna do it like this is because when the needle is at the center position, and your needle is at a center position right over there, like this. 
the time and it's higher. You can see the needle is going to be higher. Let me show you. The position on the needle is going to be higher. Right there, this is the center. You see how the position on the needle is higher? If you time the machine like this, you don't know if you're going to get stitches when you get the needle all the way to the left. So the reason why I like to do it like that, because I know if I do it all the way to the left, your timing is always going to be fine. Your timing is always going to be good. If you move it all the way to the right, your timing is going to be much faster. If you move it to the center position, your timing is going to be right in the center or the cutout in the back of the needle. And then if you move it all the way to the left, the timing should be just right on top of the eyelet for the needle hole, okay? Then the machine should be catching. Now I'm going to put everything back together. As you can see the machine now, I'm going to put everything together. I'm going to fix up the machine now. Check it out. Now I have finished timing everything. Now I'm going to put all the covers back. This is a Singer machine. I'm going to show you all the details after. But this is your timing. Make sure also, remember when you do the timing on the hook, it's very important. Just move that gear, the one that it's holding this. Don't move any of the gears because remember there's a gear for also for the for the knee for the feeder mechanism. But if you move, if you do, if you lose the one for these, you might gonna have a little issue. Your machine transportation is gonna be bad, and you're not gonna be able to sell. Okay. Um, also, just just a little tip for you to remember: when the needles start coming down, you should have about 16 of an inch, a little bit of a room, 16 of an inch. The exact same room that you have between the point of the needle and the hook right here. It's part of the hook. It's the same position that you should have, or the same amount of space that you should have on top of the eyelet on the needle hole. If the needle is too low, your time is always going to be late also, okay? So this is the right way right there. Your machine is going to be coming up. It's going to take it. Boom, ready to go. Let's try it now. Put the machine together now, as you can see. Uh, you see the stitches, how nice they look like now? Um, as you can see, the zigzag now looks good, everything looks good. And remember I told you that it's very important, very, very important that when you do the timing, the needle, if your machine does zigzag, your needle has to be all the way at the left position. Exactly the reason why, it's because what I told you before, you want to make sure that when the machine is making the zigzag, it won't skip stitches. This is the widest it goes, and the stitches are coming out nice. You see the Y stitch? Perfect, no problem. All right? Very important to keep the needle always at the left position if you're going to be doing, if your machine does zigzag, okay? Thank you for watching. This is Robin from City Sewing. I hope this is a good tip for you. Uh, remember, this is very, very important. If your machine does zigzag, you must have your needle always at the left side of your needle place, always on your left, all the way at your left, okay? Do the timing like that, and your timing, once you put it together, and you tight everything the machine should be working 100 percent perfect thank you for watching rami from city sewing in new york www.citysewing.com